Does God's stated purpose of creating man so they worship him seem worthy of an immensely intelligent and all-powerful being? If God is self-sufficient and does nothing in vain, isn't creation the height of vanity? If creation is for our benefit, then what is the benefit to those who will burn forever? What is the point of God's test when he knows the outcome? Is it just so he can have a reason to punish and reward? Can a being who creates humans he knows will fail his test and will be tortured without end be called the most merciful of those who show mercy? If God wanted us to freely choose to worship him, then why threaten us? Does someone with a gun to his head really have a free choice? Why does God cause so much suffering to humans? Is it part of God's test to prompt them to turn to him in obedience and worship? Isn't that like a con man who causes a problem, then offers to fix it for you? Why would God give humans the ability to reason then punish them for rejecting beliefs that reason cannot reconcile. Why does the human body look suspiciously like it was the result of a long cumulative process of evolution resulting in imperfections and vestigial organs and genes and not the result of the instant and perfectly planned creation of Adam and Eve. Which is more evil, the imperfect creature who commits evil, or the perfect entity that created evil? Is being good because you fear God really being good? Why did God send all known prophets, miracles and books to one area of the world and at a time when people were superstitious and gullible? Why did God only protect the Qur'an from corruption? Couldn't he have protected the Bible and prevented billions claiming he has a son? What's so special about Prophet Jesus that God made him born to a virgin, took him up to heaven before he was crucified, and is going to bring him back again before the Day of Judgment? Do you believe it's acceptable for a husband to hit a rebellious wife? Why do so many characteristics of Allah, like anger and vengefulness, seem like human ones? Why does the Qur'an say, don't ask questions about things when the answer would trouble you? Should followers of other religions also not ask questions about their religion when it might trouble them? Why will God never forgive shirk? 
What are they really guilty of? Ignorance? Being born to the wrong family? The Quran often criticizes idolaters for following the religion of their parents. Are you really any different? You believe other people are following false, corrupted or unfounded beliefs. Are you certain you are not also?